Sunan in Nasi the Book of al fara and al Atira. Sunan in Nasi the Book of al fara and al Atira. it was narrated from Abu Hurairah that the Messenger of Allah said, There is no Farah and no Atira. Sunan in Nasi 4222 Reference 41 Hadith 1 Sunan in Nasi the Book of al fara and al Atira. it was narrated that Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah forbade Farah and Atira. Sunan in Nasi 4223 Reference 41 Hadith 2 Sunan in Nasi The Book of al fara and al Atira. Meeknif bin Sulaym said, While we were standing with the Messenger of Allah at Arafat, he said, O people! It is upon each family to offer a sacrifice, Udiyah, and an Atira each year. One of the narrators, Mu'ad said, Ibn An used to offer slaughter the Atira, and I saw that with my own eyes during Rajab. Daif, Sunan and Nasi 4224 Reference 41 Hadith 3 Sunan in Nasi the Book of al fara and al Atira Amr bin Shu'ayb bin Muhammad peace be upon him bin Abdullah bin Amr, narrated, that his father in Zayd bin Aslam said shocked face, Messenger of Allah. What about, the Farah? He said, It is a duty, but if you leave it, the animal, until it becomes half grown and you load upon it, in jihad, in the cause of Allah or give it to a widow, that is better than if you slaughter it when it is just born, and its flesh is difficult to separate from its skin, then you turn your vessel upside down, because you will no longer be able to get milk from the mother, and you cause your she-camel to grieve, at the loss of its young. They said, O Messenger of Allah, what about, the Atira? He said, The Atira is a duty. Hassan, Abu Abdur Rahman, and Nasai, said, Abu Ali al-Hanafi, one of the narrators. They are four brothers. One of them is Abu Bakr, and Bishr, and Sharik, and the other. Sunan and Nasi 4225 Reference 41 Hadith 4 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of al fara and al Atira. it was narrated that Yahya bin Zarara bin Karim bin al-Harif bin Amr al-Bahili said, I heard my father say, that he heard his grandfather Al-Harith bin Amr, that he met the Messenger of Allah during the farewell pilgrimage, when he was atop his slit-eared camel. He said, I said, O Messenger of Allah, may my father and mother be ransomed for you, pray for forgiveness for me. He said, May Allah forgive you, plural. Then I came to him from the other side, hoping that he would supplicate just for me alone, and not them. I said, O Messenger of Allah, pray for forgiveness for me. He said, May Allah forgive you, plural. Then a man among the people said, O Messenger of Allah, what about, the Atira and Farah? He said, Whoever wishes to offer an Atira may do so, and whoever does not wish to, may not. Whoever wishes to offer a Farah may do so, and whoever does not wish to, may not. And with regard to sheep, a sacrifice should be offered. And he clasped between his fingers except for one. Sunan and Nasi 4226 Reference 41 Hadith 5 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of al fara and al Atira Yahya bin Zarara as Sami said. My father narrated to me from his grandfather. al Harith bin Amr that he met the Messenger of Allah during the farewell pilgrimage and said, May my father and mother be sacrificed for you. O Messenger of Allah, pray for forgiveness for me. He said, May Allah forgive you, plural. He was atop his slit-eared camel and I came around to the other side and he quoted the Hadith. Sunan and Nasi 4227 Reference 41 Hadith 6 Sunan and Nasi the Book of al fara and al Atira. it was narrated that Nubaisha said. It was said to the Prophet. During the Jahiliyyah we used to offer the Atira. 
he said. Slaughter for the sake of Allah, the mighty and sublime, no matter what month it is. Do good for the sake of Allah, the mighty and sublime, and feed the poor. Sunan and Nasi 4228 Reference 41 Hadith 7 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Nubaisha said. A man called out while he was in Mina and said, O Messenger of Allah, we used to sacrifice the Atira during the Jahiliya in Rajab. What do you command us to do? He said, Sacrifice during whatever month it is, do good for the sake of Allah, the mighty and sublime, and feed, the poor. They said, O Messenger of Allah, we used to sacrifice the Farah during the Jahiliya. What do you command us to do? He said, For every flock of grazing animals, feed the firstborn as you feed the rest of you flock until it reaches an age where it could be used carry loads, then sacrifice it, and give its meat in charity. Sunan and Nasi 4229 Reference 41 Hadith 8 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Nubaisha, a man of Hudayl, that the Prophet said, I used to forbid you to store the meat of the sacrifices for more than three days so that there would be enough for everyone. But now Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, has bestowed plenty upon us, so eat some, give some in charity and store some, for these days are the days of eating, drinking and remembering Allah. A man said, O Messenger of Allah, we used to sacrifice the Atira during the Jahiliya in Raja. What do you command us to do? He said, Sacrifice to Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, whatever month it is, do good for the sake of Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, and feed, the poor. He said, O Messenger of Allah, we used to sacrifice the Farah during the Jahiliya. What do you command us to do? He said, for every flock of grazing animals, feed the firstborn as you feed the rest of your flock, until it reaches an age where it could be used to carry loads, then sacrifice it, and give its meat in charity to the wayfarer, Sunan and Nasi 4230 Reference 41 Hadith 9. Sunan and Nasi, the book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira for that is good. Sunan and Nasi 4230 Reference 41 Hadith 9 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Nubaisha said. A man called out to the Prophet and said. We used to sacrifice the Atira. That is, during the Jahiliya, in Rajab. What do you command us to do? He said. Sacrifice, whatever month it is do good for the sake of Allah, the mighty and sublime, and feed, the poor. He said, We used to sacrifice the Farah during the Jahiliya, what do you command us to do? He said, For every flock of grazing animals, feed the firstborn as you feed the rest of your flock until it reaches an age where it could be used to carry loads, then sacrifice it, and give its meat in charity, for that is good. Sunan and Nasi 4231 Reference 41 Hadith 10 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Nubaisha al-Hudhaili said. A man said. O Messenger of Allah, we used to sacrifice the Atira during the Jahiliya in Rajab. What do you command us to do? He said. Sacrifice to Allah, the Mighty and Sublime. Whatever month it is, do good for the sake of Allah, the mighty and sublime, and feed, the poor. Sunan and Nasi 4232 Reference 41 Hadith 11 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Abu Razin Laki bin Amir al uqaili said. I said. O Messenger of Allah. We used to offer sacrifices during the Jahiliya in Rajab, and eat of, their meat, and offer some to those who came to us. The Messenger of Allah said, There is nothing wrong with that. One of the narrators, Waki bin Yudas said, I will not leave it. 
Sunan and Nasi 4233 Reference 41 Hadith 12 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Abbas, from Maimunah, that the Prophet passed by a dead sheep that had been thrown aside. He said, Who does this belong to? They said, Maimuna. He said, Why did she not make use of its skin? They said, It is dead meat, that is, it was not slaughtered properly. He said, Allah, the mighty and sublime, has only forbidden us to eat it. Sunan and Nasi 4234 Reference 41 Hadith 13 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah passed by a dead sheep that he had given to a freed slave woman of Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet. He said, Why don't you make use of its hide? They said, O Messenger of Allah, it is dead meat. The Messenger of Allah said, It is only forbidden to eat it. Sunan and Nasi 4235 Reference 41 Hadith 14 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira Ibn Abbas said, The Messenger of Allah saw a dead sheep that belonged to the freed slave woman of Maimuna, and had come from the Sadiqah. He said, Why don't you take off its hide and make use of it? They said, It is dead meat. He said, It is only unlawful to eat it. Sunan and Nasi 4236 Reference 41 Hadith 15 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Abbas. Maimuna told me that a sheep died, and the Prophet said, why don't you tan its skin and make use of it? Sunan and Nasi 4237 Reference 41 Hadith 16 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira Ibn Abbas said, The Prophet passed by a sheep belonging to Maimuna that had died and said, Why don't you take its skin and tan it and make use of it? Sunan and Nasi 4238 Reference 41 Hadith 17 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira Ibn Abbas said, The Prophet passed by a dead sheep and said, Why don't you make use of its skin? Sunan and Nasi 4239 Reference 41 Hadith 18 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Sada, the wife of the Prophet, said, A sheep of ours died, and we tanned its skin, and continued to make Nabi in it until it wore out. Sunan and Nasi 4240 Reference 41 Hadith 19 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the Messenger of Allah said, Any skin that is tanned has been purified. Sunan and Nasi 4241 Reference 41 Hadith 20 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Walla that he asked Ibn Abbas, We are attacking the Maghrib, and they are people who worship idols, and they have water skins in which they keep milk and water. Ibn Abbas said, Tanning is purification. Ibn Walla said, Is this your own opinion, or something that you heard from the Messenger of Allah? He said, No, I heard it, from the Messenger of Allah. Sunan and Nasi 4242 Reference 41 Hadith 21 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Salama bin al-Muhabak that, during the campaign of Tabuk, the Prophet of Allah called for water from a woman. She said, I only have a waterskin of mine made from an unslaughtered, dead animal. He said, Didn't you tan it? She said, Of course. He said, Then it's tanning as it's slaughter. Daif, 
Sunan Anasi 4243 Reference 41 Hadith 22 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Aisha said. The Prophet was asked about the hides of dead animals. He said. Tanning it purifies it. Sunan in Nasi 4244 Reference 41 Hadith 23. Sunan in Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Aisha said. The Messenger of Allah was asked about the hides of dead animals. He said, Tanning it purifies it. Sunan and Nasi 4245 Reference 41 Hadith 24 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated from Aisha that the Prophet said, The dead animal is purified by tanning it. Sunan and Nasi 4246 Reference 41 Hadith 25 Sunan and Nasi. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Aisha said. The Prophet said. The dead animal is purified by tanning it. Sunan and Nasi 4247 Reference 41 Hadith 26 Sunan in Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated from Maimuna, the wife of the Prophet, that some men of Quraysh passed by the Messenger of Allah dragging a sheet the size of a donkey. He said to them, Why don't you take its skin? They said, It is dead meat. The Messenger of Allah said, Purify it with water and karas. Sunan and Nasi 4248 Reference 41 Hadith 27 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Abdullah bin Yuqaim said, The letter of the Messenger of Allah was read to us when I was a young boy. Do not make use of the skins and sinew of dead animals. Sunan and Nasi 4249 Reference 41 Hadith 28 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Abdullah bin Yuqaim said, The Messenger of Allah wrote to us. Do not make use of the skins and sinew of dead animals. Sunan and Nasi 4250 Reference 41 Hadith 29 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Abdullah bin Yuqaim said. The Messenger of Allah wrote to Juhayna. Do not make use of the skin and sinew of dead animals. Hassan. Abu Abdur Rahman. And Nasai. Said. The most correct about this topic, regarding the skins of the dead animal when it is tanned, is the narration of Az-Zuri. From Ubaidullah bin Abdullah. From Ibn Abbas from Maimuna, and Allah knows best. Sunan and Nasi 4251 Reference 41 Hadith 30 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated from Aisha that the Messenger of Allah ordered that the hides of dead animals be made use of if they had been tanned. Daif Sunan and Nasi 4252 Reference 41 Hadith 31 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated from Abu al mala from his father, that the Prophet forbade the use of the hides of predators. Hassan, Sunan and Nasi 4253 Reference 41 Hadith 32 Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that al Mikdam bin Mahdi Karib said. The Messenger of Allah forbade silk, gold and saddlecloths. Meathir. Made of leopard skin. Sunan and Nasi 4254 Reference 41 Hadith 33. Sunan and Nasai. The Book of al farah and al atira it was narrated that Khalid said, al Mikdam Bayad en Mahdi Karib came to visit Mu Awiyah and said to him, I adjure you by Allah, 
Do you know that the Messenger of Allah forbade wearing the hides of predators and riding on them? He said, Yes. Sunan and Nasi 4255 Reference 41 Hadith 34 Sunan and Nasi the Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira it was narrate road from Habir bin Abdullah that, during the year of the conquest, while he was in Makkah, he heard the Messenger of Allah say, Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, and his Messenger have forbidden the sale of alcohol, dead meat, pigs and idols. It was said to him, O Messenger of Allah, what do you think of their fat of dead animals, for it is used to cock ships, it is daubed on animal skins and people use it to light their lamps? He said, No, it is unlawful. Then the Messenger of Allah said, May Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, curse the Jews, for Allah forbade them the fat, of dead animals, but they rendered it, sold it, and consumed its price. Sunan and Nasi 4256 Reference 41 Hadith 35 Sunan and Nasi the book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira it was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, It reached Umar that Samurah had sold some wine, and he said, May Allah ruin Samurah. Does he not know that the Messenger of Allah said, May Allah curse the Jews, for animal fat was forbidden to them, but they rendered it. Sufyan, one of the narrators, said, meaning, they melted it down. Sunan and Nasi 4257 Reference 41 Hadith 36 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Abbas, for Maimuna, that A mouse fell into some cooking fat and died. The Prophet was asked, about that, and he said, Throw it away, and whatever is around it, and eat, the rest. Sunan and Nasi 4258 Reference 41 Hadith 37 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Abbas, from Maimuna, that The Prophet was asked about a mouse that had fallen into some solid cooking fat. He said, Take it, and whatever is around it, and throw it away. Sunan and Nasi 4259 Reference 41 Hadith 38 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Ibn Abbas, from Maimuna, that The Prophet was asked about a mouse that fell into the cooking fat. He said, If it, the fat, is solid, then throw it away, and whatever is around it. If it is liquid then do not use it at all. Daif, Sunan and Nasi 4260 Reference 41 Hadith 39 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira Ibn Abbas said, I heard Sa'id bin Jubair say, The Messenger of Allah passed by a dead goat and said, Why didn't the owners of this sheep makes use of its skin? Sunan and Nasi 4261 Reference 41 Hadith 40 Sunan and Nasi The Book of Al-Farah and Al-Atira It was narrated from Abu Sa'id al-Qudri that the Prophet said, If a fly falls into the vessel of one of you, let him dip it in. Sunan and Nasi 4262 Reference 41 Hadith 41